Dr Carr, how do you go about deciding if a person needs antibiotics for respiratory tract infections? That's such a good question. How do we know who needs an antibiotic for a respiratory infection, who doesn't? Uh, lots of different kinds of respiratory infections. We've got the throats, we've got the coughs and colds, uh, we've got the ear infections, particularly in kids. And one of the most important things, I think, is that nearly all of these infections actually don't need antibiotics. So I think the most important message is most of them, no antibiotic is required. They're virus infections, they just get better with time. Uh, the ones that do need antibiotics, the general rule is they're the really severe ones. And how do you know which are the severe ones? Well, when people have got high temperatures, if it's a throat, if it's a rip-roaring throat with all the glands up and that sort of thing, with the coughs when they're really sick, again, high temperature, that sort of thing, sometimes these people might need antibiotics. But for the ordinary person with a bit of a cough, a bit of a cold, a sniffle, a sore ear, antibiotics aren't needed. And that also applies to the kids with the sore ears. The majority of sore ears in kids, even with temperature, get better just as quickly without antibiotic. Why do you think people sometimes ask for or expect antibiotics? <laughs> lots, of, lots of reasons why people want to have antibiotics or think they need antibiotics. Um, sometimes it's because that's what they've had before and that's our fault, the doctors, <laughs> because we've been a little bit too liberal with them at times and so people have had antibiotics before, things got better in a few days, they think, wow, the antibiotic really works, but in fact, probably would have got better in a few days anyway. Um, there are also lots of other reasons people are worried about having to get back to work or they're concerned that the kid might go on to have something more serious. Most of the time, antibiotics are going to make little difference to the speed of things getting better. And really important to remember, of course, that they can also cause side effects, which actually slow things up. So if you get diarrhea or rash or for women, thrush, that sort of thing, that can be a really nuisancey kind of side effect that actually makes things go on for longer. Do you get people who specifically request antibiotics and how would you deal with that situation? Yes, there are quite a lot of people who come in asking for antibiotics or say, I've got this infection, Doc, and I think I need some more antibiotic. Um, a lot of the time, we doctors, we tend to blame the patient for this and say, oh, you know, they always want the antibiotics. Whereas actually, I think we're responsible a lot of the time because it's we doctors are the ones who've dished them out before and the patient thinks, well, I had it last time, I probably need it again this time. Um, there are also people who've got better on antibiotics and think, oh, obviously I needed it last time, when in fact they would have got better anyway. And there are other times when people are worried about something else. So they've got a deadline coming up, they would need to get back to work, or they've got a wedding happening. Um, and sometimes it's about kids. They're worried if I don't give them something, will they get sicker? The important thing for me as a doctor is to find out what's the ex expectation about? Why does that person think, oh, I need antibiotics this time? Because the answer to that question often tells me a lot more about whether it's really needed or not. And sometimes do you feel under pressure to prescribe and if so what is that pressure? There is pressure to prescribe antibiotics at times as a doctor. Again I think we doctors use it as a bit of an excuse <clears throat> rather too often. We tend to say oh those patients they always want their antibiotics. Uh, it's not me it's them. Um, there's good research to show that even when patients feel they need antibiotics, if the doctor gives a sensible explanation as to why an antibiotic is not needed, then the majority of people are quite happy with that. So patient pressure, yes, it does exist, but I also feel it's a bit of a medical, medical excuse for rather sloppy behaviour, because we know that if people get a decent explanation about whether they need an antibiotic or not, they're usually really happy with that answer. Dr Carr, why isn't an antibiotic the best choice for most respiratory tract infections? Antibiotics are not the right choice for most respiratory infections because they're not needed, because most respiratory infections are due to viruses, and antibiotics don't work against viruses. Another thing that's very important is that antibiotics can have side effects. So for the individual, it can be rashes, it can be thrush, it can be diarrhoea. And of course, if we dish out too much antibiotic, we know that the bacteria in the community can become resistant to them. And then if you get a really severe, important infection that actually needs an antibiotic, it might not work. But the main thing is most respiratory infections are virus. They don't need an antibiotic in the first place. Well, when would you want to prescribe an antibiotic? Who actually does need them? There are some groups who are more likely to need an antibiotic when they get a respiratory infection. Um, for example, older people who've got chronic lung disease, who've got lung damage, often need antibiotics. Um, indigenous communities have higher rates of some of the bacterial infections and sometimes need antibiotic more often. 
And an important group is also um, kids who get really nasty ear infection, not just your ordinary old ear infection, mild fever and so on, but when they've got really high temperature, they're miserable kids, and the doctor looks inside and sees a swollen, bulging eardrum, those kids need antibiotic. Um, but the real message is these are pretty small subgroups. The ordinary respiratory infection for most people simply doesn't need an antibiotic.